Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about pursuing masters from a Jain to Hyderabad or a OU college versus pursuing masters from a US university. So first things first, the classroom size of a Jain to Hyderabad or OU college would be around 50 or more than that. But in the US, they have to maintain the standards. So most of the US universities would have like 16 to 25 students per class that is per subject so which makes the learning process easier and it would be like one faculty per 16 to 20 students so the faculty can easily focus on those students properly so the second thing is the world ranking so if you search the Jain to Hyderabad or OU world ranking it would be around like 3000 and you would be shocked with that so on international level these universities are not much recognizable whereas US universities are easily recognizable. So most of these universities have a very good ranking at international level. So which makes your degree more valuable, more recognizable. And not only that, even the names are more readable like University of Texas, University of California. So now let's have a look on the major drawback of studying US masters. It is the college fees. In India, if you're studying from JNT or OU, you would get scholarship or you can easily pay the fees which would be around 55,000 or 70,000 per year but in US you have to pay thousands of dollars for which you need to do part time and stuff but yeah it is doable it is payable students are doing you can do it too so now let's have a look on one of the most important difference for which most of the students are coming from India to US to do masters so masters is just a entry into US after that if you get a very good job you can earn like 70,000 to 95,000 dollars per year as an engineer so that's a hell of money if you convert it back then in India then it would be 50 to 60 lakhs per year so that's a very good package right whereas in India after pursuing your masters from Indian universities your pay would be hiked by like 3 lakhs more so you can you would be earning around like 10 to 15 lakhs per annum which would also be a very good package okay but still students are choosing US over India it is because US is a developed country there are more career opportunities the learning process is more interesting compared to India yeah it is just a matter of time sooner or later India would definitely become a very powerful nation and give competition to US it's gonna happen for sure so before I end this video what is my personal opinion or advice for those students who are having this question like should I also go to US for pursuing masters then the answer is don't just blindly make decisions like uh, my brother is pursuing masters from US my friend has gone to US everyone is going to US I should also go to US don't make such silly mistakes sit down and relax and question yourself why you really want to come to US it is uh, because there are more career opportunities over here or what is that one thing you find in US and not in India so make decisions wisely don't just blindly make decisions I totally agree with the fact that US is the land of opportunities and for a student you can expect exponential growth in your career compared to back then in India okay so if you are a student and you want to come to US for pursuing masters and if you are not taking any loan or stuff then I totally agree the fact that you can come to US it's open for you okay think wisely don't make silly mistakes that's all for this video hit that like button if you are new to this channel then definitely subscribe this channel 